Can you tell us a little bit about what you remember about your injury, what happened and how you felt after it happened? Yeah. So my injury was from dropping a weight on my foot that started to spook me out. And then a little bit of pain came in and I remember trying to go directly to the nearest chair, trying to run quickly. And it kind of became a hobble because then I realized that I had injured my foot. The circumstances um, that I was in was terrible. It caused me to miss my last basketball game. So it was sad, obviously. I'd never been in surgery. I didn't know if I needed surgery or if it was just a normal break. I had broken bones before. And as time went on from getting onto a stretcher to an ambulance to going to the hospital, the pain increased immensely. Can you tell us a little bit more about what your daily life was like after surgery? Yeah. So after I had surgery, I had to stay in the hospital for a day and it was just kind of like an observatory process for the hospital. I vaguely remember the surgeon saying something like, if you weren't here within the hour, we could have had to take your toes off or something scary. (laughs) So I was at the hospital for a day, which included getting used to using crutches and a very makeshift cast. And they had done something to make that a little easier for me too, considering I couldn't put any pressure on my foot. They put a heel in the cast in every cast that I had throughout the process. And it was just something for me to be able to put pressure on without hurting my foot. So it was a difficult process. How did it affect getting around at school? Like, did it make it harder? Yeah, well, I had disability accommodations. I had someone I got to choose to walk around the school with me, carry my things, get out of class early, which for a student was great. (laughs) But as a person kind of sucked because it just, meant it was another thing to worry about because it was difficult to move between classes when the hallways were crowded at the typical times. And then missing out on other opportunities like playing sports or doing really any other physical activity. If you're walking, running, whatever, it requires your legs. 